Hello there, you amazing viewers and subscribers. Welcome to a brand new video for today. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite eras of modern Doctor Who. Yes, it is the 12th Doctor's run, played by the amazing actor Peter Capaldi. I absolutely love this whole run. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm sorry to all you Tenant fans and all you Matt Smith fans, but Capaldi, for me, is the best modern Doctor we've got so far. Now, you most probably go... <coughs> Sorry. Uh, you most probably go in, but Tennant's the best Doctor. Tennant isn't the best Doctor for me. He is my least favourite Doctor, and I'm going to be doing a video why I don't like his whole era at some point. I think, unless I've already done it, that's the problem. I can't remember what I've done, what, what, ones I've, what videos I've done and stuff for Doctor Who-wise. Um, I have to say, I adore Peter Capaldi's portrayal as the 12th Doctor. He is incredible and absolutely amazing. So, so far, I've got every single DVD and nearly all the Blu-ray releases for his run. I mean, if I show you quickly. So, we've got Deep, I've got Deep Breath, Last Christmas, Series 9 Part 1, Series 9 Part 2, The Husbands of River Song. So, I've got all the Series 9 there. And then I've got The Return of Doctor Mysterio. Series 10 Part 1, Series 10 Part 2, and Twice Upon a Time. As well as Series 8, the Complete Series 8, the Complete Series 9, the Complete 10th Series, and then Series 8 on Blu-ray, Steelbook. I haven't got the middle. Series 9 on Blu-ray, and of course Series 10 on Blu-ray with Twice Upon a Time. Now, I love Peter Capaldi's run, so in this video I'm going to talk about my favourite episode, my five favourite episodes from each of his series. And what do I think about the 12th Doctor uh, kind of chemicals with his companions? So during his run with Peter Capaldi, he's ended up travelling with Clara, Bill, Nardo. He even had a little adventure with his wife, Dr. River Song. So that one I do class as a companion, for that one special. Uh, and of course, Grant and Lucy. And I'm going to say what my least favourite episode of the Capaldi run is, and some other stuff. So, now I'm going to talk about the Doctor's kind of relationships with his companions, mainly around, mainly with Clara and Bill. Now, I absolutely love Capaldi's Doctor with Bill, because I really think Series 10 is one of the best Capaldi stuff out there. It's my also favourite Capaldi series. Um, I, with Clara, she treats the Doctor like he's a bitch. Or, like, in cover other words, where she's literally threatened to smack him so hard he will regenerate. Yeah, Clara... The Doctor literally becomes Clara's bitch in... Round about series 8 and 9. Really does. And, again, it doesn't do much for the 12th Doctor's kind of arc, really. Because he's in his arc, he goes from this dark, completely strange person that we get in series 8. Then he goes into a kind of cheeky light sort of doctor with that we see in the late Tom Baker era so we do see a bit of Tom Baker in that one and then it goes back into a kind of a dark personality like, a bit like Tom Baker does in seasons 12, 13 and 14 but I have to say I really do prefer the 12th Doctor with Bill and Nardo because it feels like the trio are like a little family where with Bill not so with Clara it doesn't. I mean, the whole bit with Clara and her relationship with Danny, that, there was no need for that. We didn't need to see Clara have a relationship with Danny. There was no need for him to be, die and to become a Cyberman. Really, that's the one thing about Series 8 I don't like. I don't like the whole arc between the Clara and Danny. I do not care about that kind of relationship. And that's the one thing I really don't like in Doctor Who. I really don't like the relationship stuff. Mainly with the Doctor. I don't... All the companions. It's just one of those things in modern who did like focus around on relationship stuff, and it's like stop. But Capaldi's performance as the twelfth Doctor, I absolutely love his performance. He's now a bit like with Colin Baker and Sylvester McCoy's Doctor. They their era suffered by the writing. It's not their actors' fault. It's not their performance. It's the way the scripts are written and stuff. Like for Tyrone Arani, that was actually written for Colin Baker. And poor Seth McCoy has suffered the backlash. And now Capaldi, again, has suffered a lot with the bad writing from Stephen Moffat. He's a great actor. I do like Peter Capaldi's actor. I think he's the best actor we had for Modern Who's So Far to play an incarnation of the Doctor. As well after 
Christopher Eccleston, because Chris Eccleston is my second favourite Doctor from the modern era, where Capaldi is my all-time favourite. I love the dark stuff in it. So, to say my favourite five episodes from each of these series is... So, for Series 8, I have to say Deep Breath. Deep Breath is a great introduction story to a new Doctor. I love the bit where he goes to the dinosaur, where he goes, Oi, big woman, I will get you home again. I absolutely do like with Capaldi when he does that kind of like great sort of moment. And then when you see him literally go, take off like the clockwork droid's face, he goes, hello, 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 you crappy robots for the dawns of time. I absolutely do love that. And when he literally goes, when he literally talks to the android, uh, the halfway, and then you don't know if he pushed the clockwork man out of the door or did he chose to fall. I absolutely do like Capaldi's run as the 12th Doctor for that story. Uh, into a Dalek, I absolutely love it because the first time the Doctor has to go inside into the mind, into the casing of his arch enemy. And again, he's like trying, in this one, the Dalek becomes, his mind becomes poisoned to radiation. So after it gets fixed, he starts going around killing. So when the Doctor's there with Clara and the little soldiers, inside the Dalek, the Doctor's there going, like, when he says, you saw the star being born, the endless rebirth of the universe. And that's there going now. And he goes, and you saw the truth about the Daleks. The truth. I'm up in your mind. I love it when the Dalek just goes, I see hatred. And Capaldi's doctor's like, what? Hatred of the Daleks. Exterminate the Daleks. I absolutely do love that one. I like the way the Dalek just turns against the other Daleks. <laughs> uh, next on the list is Robots of Sherwood. This one, for me, I consider it to be literally... Um, underrated i think it is actually a great story i love it you've got robin hoods you've got the show i love the bit with the doctor literally just like pretending like going that's impossible and he literally just thinks then he goes you're gonna die in a few months like that and then he's like being such a doctor thing and then he literally gets a glove with a spoon and he goes i'm the doctor and this is my spoon and he's there like you're having a sore fight with robin hood with the spoon uh the Android people, I absolutely love. I like the soldiers. I love the bit with the 12th Doctor where literally there playing archery. And then he literally just goes, pulls out the Sonic like that. And he goes, like that. And he blows up. Now, he actually used Matt Smith's Sonic for this. I have got Matt Smith's version of the Sonic. But unfortunately, I have put it away somewhere in one in one of my hiding places. Just so I can try and keep all my Sonic safe. This is the only one I can find at the moment. And, of course, I also, I do like the finale, like Deep Breath. I love the bit in Dark Water, where we see the Cybermen and the Doctor goes, Cybermen, I, I suppose you've got stairs. And Missy just goes, well, I'm not a Dalek. And the Doctor goes, who's Missy? And she goes, well, I couldn't keep calling myself the Master, now could I? Now, when that reveal came back in 2014, that reveal of Missy being the ma a female version of the Master, I jumped at the chance of it because it was something that was not seen before in doctor who a the master has regenerated into a female and she's absolutely brilliant i absolutely love it but the thing is that the whole plot of it just for it all to be an army for the 12th doctor yeah no it's not really a good stop but that build up to it in De uh, dark water is great now death in heaven i love that speech where he goes i am not a good man I'm not a bad man. And no, I'm not an officer. Do you know what I am? I am an idiot with a box, with a screwdriver, just popping in, helping out, learning. I absolutely do love that speech the 12th Doctor gives to Missy. Uh, series 9, I have to say. Series 9 for me is the week, one of the week series. For me, it's always the second season of Doctor Who. I mean, with Series 2... That was the weakest for Russell, where Series 6 is the weakest for Matt Smith's run, for Stephen Moffat. And then Series 9, because it's Capaldi's, like, second series, it is pretty weak. We have some good stuff in it. I do like the bit with the Doctor and Devros. Um, my favourite episodes, I've actually had to say this, I've actually written down three episodes I really enjoy. Me all-time favourite episode is Heaven Sent. I absolutely love it. I love the way we have the veil, trying to hunt down the Doctor, trying to kill him for the truth. And the Doctor is just there, like... Like, I'm not telling you the truth, I will get out. And he's literally punching his hands through this kind of glass domain wall. And he breaks through the wall, like the walls of the Time Lords and Gallifrey. And he goes, I know if you're listening. And he goes, the hybrid, 
is me. I actually do love Heaven's Sen. It's a great Capaldi episode. And it's the one episode with the Doctor with no companion for Modern Who. Where it's just a bit like the Deadly Assassin. Because the Deadly Assassin is the Doctor without a companion. Because it's in between two stories. Where this is like a slot, slot in between. The Doctor does get Clara back. But she's literally living between one heartbeat and the next. I do like Heaven's Sen. It's my favourite. Um, then of course it's the Saigon 2 part. So I really enjoy the Saigon 2 part a, a, a lot more. Than most people do. I love the whole war speech. You call this a war? This funny little thing? This is not a war. I fought in a bigger war than you will ever know. I did worse things than you can ever imagine. Every time I close my eyes, I hear more screams than anyone could ever be able to count. Can I tell you what you do with that pain? Can I tell you where you put it? You hold it tight. It burns your hand. And you say this, no one else will have to live like this. <coughs> So I, I absolutely do love that speech. The Saigon 2 part is great. So that's the three episodes I absolutely love. Series 10, I have to say, I love five episodes. There's five episodes I love for Series 10. I love the pilot. That's a great episode. Smile, I absolutely love Smile. Finn Ice, I love when the Doctor hits that. Because it's the first time literally Doctor Who picks up. It's one of those times where Doctor Who picks up like racism and stuff with that. And then the Doctor just, when he calls Bill like, and something. And the Doctor just talks to a lock and he's like, Smack right in the face. I absolutely love the Star Doctor do, kind of does that to this racist, to this racist person. I have to say, I do like that. I like the whole monster bit under the lake as well. Smile, I absolutely like when the Doctor makes a mistake. He's there, literally saying he's going to go and blow this whole base up and everything. And then he finds out they're all literally living in the base. He goes, I made a terrible mistake. Um, I love that. I love the whole robots bits as well, where it speaks. Is this thing MOG? This thing's MOG. And the Doctor's like going... Of course it is. Like that. <laughs> I absolutely love Smile for that little chemistry. And the first three episodes I absolutely love. Uh, so this Empress of Mars is episode four. I absolutely love Empress of Mars. I think it's a great sort of episode. I love the return of the Ice Warriors. And we get a whole new design of the Ice Warriors. We meet the Ice Warrior Queen. Which never was actually mentioned anywhere before. And they've kind of done this. And then you've got this Ice Warrior Queen. And she's in charge of all the Martians. I absolutely do like that st story. And then of course I have to say. For my fifth favourite. I had to put these two episodes neck and neck. Because it is a two-parter. Well technically it's a trilogy. But I have to say. I had to say. Royal Enough of Time and The Doctor Force 1. Just because we have the return of John Sims Master. We have Michelle Gomez's f f female version of the Master. The Doctor's got to fight against three different versions of the Cybermen. As well as two versions of the Master. Well, really, the two Masters don't really do nothing. At the beginning of the episode, they do. Because they're actually threatening to kill the Doctor. And then when they get li literally to the part, it's like they don't do nothing. It's really have a point. There's no point in bringing John Sims back if you're just going to do nothing with him for the like, later part of the episode. Again, I like the bit with the with the return of, as I said, I'd love it for just because it's got two actual returns. Because one, we see the return of the 10th Planet, so men that we see in the 10th Planet with William Hartnell. And the return of John Sims Master. Now, John Sims Master, I absolutely love. I like him in the Sounds of the Drums and Last of the Time Lords, but then I don't really, I don't really care for him in the end of time. And this one, I have to say, I have to pick up uh, the Doctor Falls is a lot better than the end of time reveal. So that's basically it for my favourite episodes from each of his three series. His chemistry with Bill, I absolutely do love and stuff. Um, his whole run, Peter Capaldi's whole run from 2014, well, basically from 2013 to 2017, uh, I love his whole run. Um, my least favourite episode of his, I do have to say, is The Return of Doctor Mysterio. It's the one episode I just zoom out of. It's fun. It's actually fun to sit there and watch, but I don't really pay attention to it after time. Uh, the only thing I like is that little speech with the Doctor that goes, there's been so many attempts to conquer the Earth before. Not one has succeeded. Not a single one. They're all lost. They all burn and they ran. Now that is who I am. I absolutely do love that speech Capaldi gives. Um, For an honourable mention, I love his appearance in the spin-off version of Class. Um, the one spin-off that Stephen Moffat tried, but he couldn't do it. He's not as good as Russell T. Davis. Because when Russell T. Davis was a showrunner, he had... Doctor Who, Tortured and the Sojourn Adventures. And then Moffat tried it with Class. Class didn't work, but I do like his interference where he literally walks out and goes... Where he literally just walks out and she goes, Die? Who's gonna, no one's going to die today. And he walks up to the Shadow Kind and he goes, 
You heard me, haven't you? You are the great destruction of the universe. Yeah, same, but most people call me the Doctor. I absolutely do that. Capaldi's appearance in class as the Doctor. It's amazing. And then when he, gets, he does that speech at the end when he's literally talking about the, them literally taking out, like, taking over Cuthill School because he can't be everywhere. I do like that speech. Uh, the 12th Doctor for me, I have to say, I absolutely, he's my all-time favourite, um, my all-time favourite modern Doctor. I absolutely do like his performance. He's a great actor. To be honest with you, I prefer Peter Capaldi to, as I say, like, Matt Smith and David Tennant. Matt, David Tennant, I just don't really like. I mean, I do like his acting. I think he's great in other stuff, but as the Doctor, I think his ear is, like, literally too much of a relationship sort of bit between Ten and Rose uh, or Ten and Martha. The only thing I absolutely love about it from his run is Series 4. Because Series 4, for me, it's the best thing in Modern Who. Uh, one of the best series in Modern Who after Series 1. Uh, I absolutely do like Heckleson. Heckleson is my second favourite Modern Doctor. Because I think, again, it's not personal. I do think Ten, um, Christopher Eccleston and Peter Capaldi pulled off the dark side of the Doctors really, really well. Matt Smith did it as well in his run. I did it. That's why he's my third favourite. Followed by Jodie. He's my fourth. And then my fifth favourite is Tennant. And I'm so sorry to all you fans. But Tennant, I just don't absolutely like. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think of Mr. Peter Capaldi's run. Is it one of your favourite series? Is he one of your favourite Doctors like he is for mine? I'm, his performance, I do see a bit of John Pertwee and a bit of Tom Baker's roles in the Doctor in them. So I absolutely do like that. So anyway, let me know. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like, subscribe and share. And join me tomorrow for another Doctor Who video. Have a good day.